to internet refer to us as lizard men. But the wise on the ancient know us as the protectors of all. Since antiquity have we stood guard, watching over the realms and a world long since forgotten by all but the slam and the gods that abandoned it. And so shall we continue, following the great mass until the old ones return and we've ridden all the realms of the gate of chaos most foul. Gather round, friends, and let me tell you of the savage beast known as the Iron Jaws. In their eyes you will only see the simple stare of an animal, but they can actually be quite cunning. The Iron Jaws live only for war, and it is how they get bigger, stronger, and somehow how they survive. I have spent far too much time with them, and what I've discovered is that under no circumstances should you... Oh, oh dear. No, no! <laughs> Hey, welcome to another Saga of Dice Battle Report. So we're playing 2,000 points of Age of Sigma. So I'm playing Iron Jaws and Rob is playing Seraphon. Dreadsaurian and Seraphon, to be more precise. Um, he's awesome. Yeah. His war scroll isn't, <laughs> but his model is awesome. Uh, as you know, if people are wondering why he's not on the right base size, you free to go back and watch the other video, but it all boils down to my dad made it and I, and I don't want to change it. So yeah, hope everyone enjoys it though, regardless, obviously. Savage Games, uh, being, it's a kind of the perfect. It is. Yeah, <laughs> Iron Jaws versus yeah. the Coalesced uh, Seraphon, Thunder Lizard. Um, so yeah, uh, but hope everyone enjoys. And before you go, if you wouldn't mind, please uh, subscribing for the YouTube gods, comment for the algorithm the throne, and hit the screaming bell to always receive notifications of when a battle report goes live. There's also Patreon, and if you're up for it, awesome. And if you're not, no worries at all. Uh, we'll see you guys after deployment. Okay, so we are playing Savage Games, and so we've got four objectives. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got one on the edge of my deployment area and one on the edge of Rob's and we've got two along the center. And what's going to happen is if I control mine, I'm going to get one point. If I get Rob's, I'm going to get four. Mm -hmm. And if I control either of the, uh, if I can control one of these, I'll get two. If I control the other one, I'll get two as well. So I can both potentially get two from both of those. Right. And then at the start... And vice versa. And vice versa. I would get four for that one and yeah. one for this one. Cool. Yeah, and then there's battle tactics, and then uh, whoever's going second in the third battle round mm -hmm. has the choice to eliminate one of these objectives. One of the middle objectives. One of the middle ones. The other ones yeah. are prime. That's right. Perfect. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll be back with the lists. All right, so I am playing uh, Iron Jaws. Uh, I'm going with the War Clan uh, Blood Tooths. Nice. So just for our own uh, learning here, Blood Tooths have this special thing called Hunt and Crush. So at the end of the combat phase, my Gore Grunter units, and I've got three Gore, Grun Gore Grunter units, um, if they fought in that phase and are within three inches, they mm -hmm. can make a pile-in move. They don't attack, they just pile in. Cool. Um, if they fall and are not within three inches of an enemy unit, they can make a regular move. Wow. Yeah. So that's at the end of the If they phase. fought and they're still within... If they fought and there's nothing within three inches of them. Oh, there's nothing, then they so, can move. So basically they killed whatever it is. I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And so, does yeah. it make them battle line as well? Uh, yeah. So, so they're in this, unit, in this army, they're battle line. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so my my grand strategy is hold the line because pretty much <laughs> there's a lot of battle line. <laughs> yep. So, uh, so let's start with um, I've got a mega boss and war crusher. He's not the general, uh, but he does have the armor of Gork. Okay. Which gives him plus one to hit and a six up uh, after save. Wow. Uh, he's got the the mount plus one to hit. Yeah. Across the board. Yeah. Or is it just for his melee weapon? So uh, I can. Uh, That's so much better than the than the crew boys <laughs> uh, artifacts that are yeah. all like one use. Uh, armor of Gork. So he has a ward save of six plus. Yeah. And it says plus one to hit plus one to hit rolls for attacks made with melee weapons by the bearer. Okay. However, ah. uh, he's at minus two inches to his move. Oh, and, and he can't run. And he cannot run. I know. I remember it now. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's still that's still awesome. I love it. Yeah. yeah. 
And he has the mount trait fastened, so he gets a once per game, ah, once per game move. Smart. Uh, so then I've got a bunch of war chanters. Uh, yep. This one here is actually my general. You've got a whole stable of war chanters. Yeah. yeah. So he's my general. He's got the command trait Master of Magic because I gave him the arcane tome, which makes him a wizard. Yep. And uh, he's got the spell uh, Basham Lads. Cool. And his war, war beat is uh, Get Him Beat. Okay. Um, and then I've, I've labeled these. So I'm just going to pick them up and check which one this is. This is the, <laughs> this is the uh, Killer Beat cool. um, War Chanter. That's my uh, favorite beat. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got another War Chanter over here. He's the Fixin' Beat. Nice. War Chanter back here. He's the Healing Beat. He's the Healing One. Yeah. yeah. So then I've got uh, a unit of six Gore Grunters. And these, so these guys are all together here. Yes, yeah, that's one yeah. unit. One unit at the back here. And the way that I've set them up is so that um, I'm sort of maximizing the frontage. Yes. Um, and I've had, and if you notice these kind of uh, strange kind of arrowhead like things, um, it allows me to make sure that I have coherency basically. Cool. And yeah. then, um, and then I, I asked you, what do you do when one dies? And then you said, well, then you have only five models and then yeah, so it's you're happy days. on the normal. Yeah. And honestly, and I, I asked I asked Andy to, to explain it just because I'm just like, yeah. like this kind of highlights both like a cool tactical play that you can make and also how poorly the coherency role, rules were written yeah. <laughs> so that you have to do these shenanigans. Just to, anyway. Yeah. So yeah. So they cool. have the Jagged Gore Hackers and then I've got two units of yes. three uh, with the Pig Iron Choppers. Mm -hmm. I've got a unit of 10 Art Boys. Yep. I've got a unit of 15 odd boys, and then I've got uh, allied in, I've got Ripper's Snarl Fangs. Yes. So I'm not using the, the technically correct models, but they are goblins and wolves, um, yeah. so they look appropriate. I they're think. awesome. They're, they're like, what, fourth edition models? Uh, those are third edition goblins. Third edition? Yeah, Dang. from Fantasy Battles. So wow, I that's awesome. Them. Yeah. That's, that's, that's really cool. Yeah, so that's it. Okay. 2,000 points on the, new, on the nose. I've got a Warlord Battalion, Hunters of the Heartland, and a Battle Regiment. You were, um, and you said you were eight drops, I want to say? I'm eight drops, yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, so over to you. Excellent. And how many points was it total? 2,000 points. On okay, the perfect. Yeah. Wow, impressive. Yeah. Awesome. We'll be right back with Seraphon's list. Today I've brought the Dread Saurian, essentially. <laughs> uh, Coalesced Thunder Lizard. Uh, yeah, I was actually going to bring Deepkin, as Andy knows, but I couldn't get the Thrallmaster painted quite in time. So you'll, you'll see him soon, but today I've brought... It's been a while since I've brought Seraphon, so I'm actually really happy to take him out. Um, uh, so yeah, I've got the Slam Star Master, um, and he is... Uh, he's not my general, so he, and he doesn't have anything. He's just got... But he has, he's starting off with the Stellar Tempest spell, I believe it's called. Um, and then uh, this is my general. He has the, um, the, the, the one you have to take, the Coalesced. And he's got the, well, he's got the artifact, the Fusil of Conflagration. Because of the, the dang Dread Sauron, I, um, I couldn't fit any more heroes in there. So I couldn't make a Warlord Battalion um, and still take like some of the goodies. Um, so yeah, he has the prime war beast command trait and the fusil of conflagration and then the mount trait beast master. And then I've got a skink priest way back here. He's got the universal prayer, uh, heal. And then I've got two, um, of these guys, the, uh, Bastilodon and, uh, two units of 10 skinks, um, the star master up here and, uh, five, Saurus Guard hiding inside here with him, and then of course the Dread Saurian. Right. Now, a note about him and about Vallejo st uh, Stillwater. Uh, the note is don't use Stillwater if you want it to last for a long time because eventually it gets this like dusty, mm. um, opaque look to it. So, but the the the, um, the fix for that is you can take like gloss and paint it on there and it appears to have fixed it other than like where the bubbles were mm. that, that I think is permanent, but 
Yeah, try it if anyone else has had the same thing. Like I've had it across all of my miniatures that I've used Vallejo Stillwater with. So um, I'll put a note like in the, like I'll put a little subtitle here if it appears that it still works. Yeah. <laughs> so just for anyone at home. But yeah, anyway, that's the list. Um, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay. We'll be back with uh, Iron Jaws, turn one. All right, so Iron Jaws, top of turn one. So my battle tactic is going to be Ferocious Advance. So I will select uh, the two units of Chopper uh, Gore Grunters and this unit of 10 Ard Boys to be the three units that I select. Excellent. Excellent choice, sir. And then for my heroic action, I'll try to roll for a CP on the Mole Crusher. Cool. Shall I just roll on here? Sure. Is that okay? All right. So five, I get it. Okay. So he gets an extra CP. Nice. Uh, so spell casting. Uh, so my wizard is back here. Yeah. Uh, so he is going to try to cast um, get him beat. Okay. And so I'll roll that. He does have master of magic, so we can re-roll. Get him beat is is a is a. Pardon me, uh, bash him lads. Okay, I was going to say lads. yeah. Yeah. So bash him lads. Uh, so he got a seven. It's a fail, but he okay. can re-roll. Okay. So and then he got a five. So it doesn't go off. Double fail. Uh, which is Loser. <laughs> so then, Do uh, so he's within, they're wholly within 15 of What did him. he need? You got a seven the first time. You he needs an eight. eight? Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. So he's going to put um, Violent Fury on this unit. Okay. There. Uh, and then uh, this War Chanter here will put Violent Fury on this unit of Ard Boys at the front here. Okay. And then uh, this War Chanter here will put Violent Fury on this unit of Gore Grunters here. Excellent choice, sir. And that'll be the end of my hero phase. Okay. So cool. we'll be right back after movement. Nice. All right, so movement is done. I did my battle tactic by running these three units within three inches. Ripper Snarl Fangs just moved up slightly, just got a toe in on the objective there. And I've uh, got a toe in on the objective here with these art boys. And there's a big cluster of gore grunters kind of waiting <laughs> in the wings. There sure something, are. Something to happen. Yep. Um, and that's it. No charging. So scoring wise, I'll get one for my own. I score each of those for two, uh, the, yep. two each. So that's five points. And then my battle tactic is seven. Yep. It's so a good score. It's over to you. Excellent. Um, we'll be back. So seven points for Iron Jaws. Iron Jaws and Seraphon turn one coming yeah. up. Yeah. Do, 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 Welcome to Jurassic Park. I brought the Seraphon because, you know, who doesn't love running dinosaurs? But first up, we've got my battle tactic, which is gonna to be to conquer this one, which I should be able to do just by running up these skinks yep. and taking it over. Um, yeah. So then, <laughs> so we're, uh, first up will be, uh, I guess I got to do my heroic action. Yep. We forgot to mention, so Andy had uh, two points for going at the top of the turn. Yeah. I had three. Yeah. And then I get, I get another one for um, Your general. my general being alive. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to roll for another one. Okay. Because I just don't know what else I'm going to do anyway. Sure. So uh, four up, I'm going to put it on the skink. Okay. If I get it, I do. And he's going to uh, immediately use it. <laughs> I'll try to roll for one on my more cool. cr crusher. Do it. Yep. Nice. Okay. So um, Skink Priest is going to immediately use it. And he's going to put uh, the plus one to hit um, ability on this Bastillodon here. Sure. And so that goes away. <laughs> um, and then we're gonna, I'm going to do, first up, I'm going to do... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do Comet's Call. Yep. Oh, and then my Constellation yep. is the plus one to casting. So okay. now the Slan is at plus two to cast. Okay. I need, I believe I need a seven for Comet's Call. Yeah, I just looked it up. Okay. So it's a seven and I get a 12. Okay. So, and because that's a more than 10, I get to pick D6 units anywhere on the battlefield. Okay. So it's going to be four units. So, and then they take... Um, they take, is it D3 mortal wounds? Yeah, it's D3 mortal wounds. Okay. So four units, I'll pick the, um, 
I'll pick your Maw Crusher. Okay. Uh, and I'll pick um, that unit, of, the big unit of pigs. Okay. And uh, that unit of pigs there. Okay, sure. Ooh, actually, you know what? No, sorry. I'm going to pick, I'm just going to pick your, your War Chantas. And the Maw Crusher. That just okay. keeps things simple. Sure. So first up, the, the, uh, the, the uh, Maw Crusher. I just said it. Uh, two mortal wounds for him. Okay, so he has a six up save. Sure does. Nope. Keep an eye on those dice, Andy. <laughs> so he's taking two. And then this, the closest uh, yep. war chant on the right. Yep. He takes three. Okay. And then the middle war chanta. Okay. He will take... Uh, three. I'm using different dice here, believe it or not. And then the last war chanta, uh, he will take one. Okay. Okay. So now um, it's going to be uh, Stellar Tempest. Yeah. So Stellar Tempest, I believe, is also a seven. No, this is an eight. Um, so I pick one unit within 24 inches. I'm going to pick them. Yep. And uh, it's casting value of eight, but I need a six, um, but I got a seven. So that will go off with a nine. And where's that coming from? Uh, the slan here, but you can measure from the base of yeah, the... Yeah, I think I'm in range with him. Yep, yep, yeah. I think so. So and he 30, can be... 30 inches? That looks like... Yeah, was it this one does mortal wounds to them? Uh, yes, this has mortal wounds to them. Okay, I'll uh, try to unbind. Do it. Uh, I get to re-roll this if I fail. That's right. So that's a fail, but I can reroll. <laughs> You're using those same dice that just rolled two and a one earlier. <laughs> no. Oh, there you go. Wow. Okay. With, Put some with authority. With authority, indeed. Hey, the, using those same dice, like yeah, that paid off. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they came around. Uh, okay, then. Uh, so I guess, so that's two spells that I've done. Yep. Yeah. So then the third one, I guess will be mystic shield. I will put mystic shield on the dread Saurian. Sure. Um, yeah, I'll put mystic shield on the dread Saurian. Okay. Um, that will go off because it is uh, plus two. Yeah. So it goes off with a six and you yep. don't have any more unbinds no. to my knowledge. Okay. So he has mystic shield. Uh, and then that's, oh wait, and then I've got to do this thing. So I'm going to pick this thing here. Um, we, this kind of came apart. So yep. we were fiddling around. These guys, um, were within, these guys were not within yep. and these guys were within. Okay. So, uh, it's a two up. Okay. They, they take D3 mortal wounds. Okay. So two up, um, doesn't matter. Yeah. It went off. Uh, I guess I'll pick the guys on the left. Yep. I don't re really care. Um, so they take D3 mortal wounds for three. Okay, so they're dead, I think. They're one wound each? No way. I'll they... double check in a second. Okay, but... okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, these guys on a two up. I... Yep, so they take three. Okay, so I'll try to take them on the shields. Yeah. Uh, I'll just roll three dice. Cool. So, oh, yeah, block one. so just lose one of those guys. So I'll take off a shield guy here. Okay. And then I'll just double check. Why those. don't you double check and then I'll get, I'll see if there's anything else that I'm forgetting to do. Sure. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, so your guys had two wounds each. Uh, so you lost one and a half guys over here. That's right, yeah. And I believe, but I'm not sure that I've done my, my hero phase. So I will, uh, we'll be back at the end of the movement phase. Great. Okay, so we're into the Seraphon um, shooting phase now. Yep. I ran these guys up six, so they're all on the objective. These guys got a really good run roll. I think it was five. Yep. Um, moved him up, him up, and these guys, I just moved them up a little bit, and that was pretty much it. Um, so now we're going into shooting. Uh, this guy's going to try and kill that... Uh, War Chanta. War Chanta, exactly. Okay. So I, I'm going to use all out defense from the Maw Crusher. So he's, he can affect three units, and that's the first unit he'll affect. Though. Excellent choice. Um, so yeah, he's going to. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do this guy first because I have to look something up for him. Sure. I think, I can't remember if it's only in the. Um, in the combat phase or the shoot, or maybe it's in the shooting phase where he can yep. add plus one to hit. So first up will be this guy. Yep. I'm going to spend a command point from yep. um, 
doesn't matter who. <laughs> he's going to be yeah. plus one to hit. So he's hitting on threes versus this big unit of pigs, which he's barely in range of. Okay, sure. Uh, well, so, two, well they'll be getting, so they'll be getting all out defense. Then. They will be getting all out defense. So I don't, did you say that on camera that you're going to all out defense? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yep. All three units? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So um, hitting on threes. Okay. There's a good roll. Excellent, my pretty. And wounding on threes. So, another good roll. So five at minus one. I am almost positive. Let's see. And you're, you have all at defense, as you said. Yeah, it's minus yeah. one. So okay. they're saving on fours. fours. Yeah. Oops, excuse me. So two go through. So there's two damage each. Yeah. Okay, so there'll be four wounds taken so far. I'll just put a die down. They have five wounds each? Five wounds each. Yeah. Wow. Wowie a zowie. Okay. Um, I'm going to now shoot with this fool. Yep. I'm going to use my triumph so that he is, because I'm going to shoot him twice. Yep. Um, spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to use my triumph this turn as well. Okay. So uh, shooting, I'm shooting into the pigs again. Sure. Um, so it'll be nine, nine dice hitting on threes. And there we go. Another good roll. What do you know? And wounding on twos because of my triumph. Yep. And excellent. So we've got five, six this time. Okay. Second verse, same as the first. Saving on fours. Yep. So, ooh. Oh. Uh, so that'll be five go through, so that'll be ten wounds. Whoa. So that'll kill two of these guys. And? Four wounds on another guy. Yeah. Well, that's intense. Sorry about that, Andy. Um, and then, okay. And then what we'll do is, because that has to happen. I mean, does it matter? Should we just shoot? Can I just shoot him again? Because this happens at the end of the movement phase. I have to look up something for him, though. Yeah. Is that cool? So you're just going to do that guy again? We'll do that guy again, because I'm, I'm shooting him into, the, into that guy. So oh, it's, it's not even yeah. going to affect anything. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just do that again. So okay. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so same thing, hitting on threes. Okay, wow, wonderful. Wunderbar! Twos because of the triumph, and they all wound. So three, four, five, six, seven. So you're gonna have to roll better than last time, Andy. Yeah, if I fail two of these, he's dead. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so he's dead. Wait, what? No, 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 it's, it's these guys. Oh, I thought, <laughs> I thought it was on him. No, 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 because okay. no, this guy's shooting into okay. him. Sorry. Right, I'll keep that there. Yeah. Can I re-roll it? Because I think I messed up the dice. Why don't we look at the camera? Because I have to check this guy anyway. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, so we, um, I got confused about what was being targeted. Yeah. I, I thought it was the war chamber. I shouldn't have tried to go out of order. Yeah. So um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to assume that I failed three, and then I'm going to roll the last one. So, yeah, we went back and we looked at it, but yeah. it's reflecting, and we just can't tell. So apologies, everyone. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the, the, we'll capture them a little bit better from now on. But also, yeah, so if this one, you're gonna, three we think you failed, and we'll, we'll roll yeah. and see if... Yeah, okay. So, so then I failed four, so I'll take eight wounds. Eight wounds, okay. So that'll be one wound. Yeah. So I'll kill one more and then another one for five. So that'll be six wounds, and then I'll put two wounds on the last guy. Okay. So yeah, two wounds taken on the Two last wounds guy. taken, okay. And then um, the last thing to shoot is going to be the Stegodon. Um, I get an extra attack from my command trait. Yeah. Because it's on any part of the mount. So he gets four attacks, threes and threes. He is within range. So is there. it minus, the minus one? Minus oh, one. Yeah, minus one. To hit, minus yeah. one. Yeah. Um, and I can't do another plus one. Yeah. So hitting on fours. Uh, so that's uh, three. That's an excellent roll. And um, wounding on threes. Uh, so that's three at minus one. You're able to all out defense him because yes. of your uh, the ability from the Ma Crusher. Yeah. Uh, so you, what are you saving on? Oh, it doesn't uh, matter. Yeah, so he takes one, how many wounds? Three. Okay, so he's dead. That's kind of was my plan, is because I just needed to do one, one yep. for one to go through. Okay, um, that's my turn. Well, you got to do charging. Oh, right, right, good call. 
So the reason that I didn't shoot the Sky Streak bow into them was because in the vain hope that I'm, I'll make the charge with the yep. Dread Saurian. Maybe I'll, I'll, for dramatic effect here, I'll, I'll measure it out and see how far he needs. So to get within half an inch, he'll need a six. Yeah. And I might as well re-roll it if I don't make it great because we're at the end of the turn here. Uh, yeah, he makes it with an eight. Yep. So he's going to go crashing in. <laughs> These guys do have hunters or they don't have hunters? They don't have hunters. Okay. I think he, doesn't he do something when he charges now? Uh, do, 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 do. Obliterating charge on a two plus. Uh, yeah, on two plus he does D3 mortal wounds. Okay. So two up. Uh, which is, that's a three. Yep. And he does D3 uh, for two. So that'll kill this guy and put a wound on this guy. That's right. And then at the end of the charge phase, I will do a monstrous action. Yep. Which will be um, stop. Yep. <laughs> Just to make this nice and, there we go. And he's dead. Yep. So that is, now that's my turn. Yep. Um, I will get this one with the monster yep. and this one over here with the skinks. Yep. So I'll get the same thing as you, yep. essentially, because it's two, two, one is five, plus two for conquer yep. is seven. So it'll be seven all going into the bottom of the turn. And I'll spend a CP to uh, battle shock. Uh, to pass for the pigs. Shock. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you didn't lose anything anywhere else because you copied yeah. that. Um, I, lost, I lost one odd boy here. Oh, okay. But yeah. they can't fail on one, right? Uh, let's double check that. So their bravery is five. And they are plus one bravery. So they could lose one on a six. Oh, okay. No. Definitely wanted to spend that regardless on your, yeah. on your precious pigs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Cool. The Shall rolling. we roll off? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Two. I got a one. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Okay. Um, come, coming up, some more double shooting action from the Seraphon. Uh, yeah, turn two, yeah. coming up. Okay, it's Seraphon, turn two. Uh, taking the top of the turn here. Um, so my battle tactic this time will be aggressive expansion. I basically got it already. Mm -hmm. So it seemed like a smart thing to do. Um, and I guess I could, is that the one where you, if you use a monster to do it, then you get an extra point? Uh, we'll figure that out later, maybe. No, it isn't. It is not. No. Okay. So then um, that's that. <laughs> Still doing it. And I'm going to do a, I'm going to roll for a CP on my uh, skink priest he over here in the corner. Sure. So he gets it on a four up. And he does not get it on a two though. Okay. Uh, I will try to... Uh, heal, I'll try to heal this guy over nice. here. Yep. I'm just going to double check what their uh, bravery is on a war chanter. I'm going to get seven. Seven. There you go. Now you can, now you can just tie it. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, I got a seven. Perfect. And you so, still get D3. Yep. So he's going to get back two. Nice. So he's almost totally healed. Yep. Excellent. So back to you. Okay, um, first up is going to be Stellar Tempest. Oh, actually, um, I'm going to give plus one to hit from, uh, for this guy here. Sure. Um, from the Star Priest. Uh, and yeah, uh, before I forget, I'm gonna try and roll so that this guy can run and still shoot. Yep. That's a four up, I think. Yep. Or it's a three up now, I think, because he's next to the terrain. Yep. Uh, so that goes off. So he's got run and shoot. And now um, Stellar Tempest coming from the slant, coming in hot. I'm still gonna do, ooh, you know what? Um, ooh, maybe I should add more attacks if, the, if this guy's going in. You know what? I'm gonna look up, because I've never used another, <laughs> I've never used another constellation. Be right back. Okay, so. I looked it up, the Great Drake, and it's only used by that hero. Okay. Uh, that's terrible, so I'm not going to do it. So I'm just going to leave it on the plus one to cast uh, and unbind. So he is, uh, first up is Stellar Tempest on these fools over here. Okay. Uh, it's going to, I need at least a five for it to go off because it goes off with a seven. So that's exactly what I got. Would you care to unbind? And what does it do? Um, it's the roll one dice per guy and on a five up they take a mortal wound. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I'll try to stop that. Cool. Um, with this guy. Sounds good. I just need a five. You just need a, you need an eight because I rolled a five and it's plus two. Plus okay. one from the slam, plus okay. one from the, yeah, the constellation. There you time. go. Again, you do not like that spell, or no. he doesn't like that spell. No. Um, okay, so then next up will be Comet's Call. And uh, it will go off with an eight, but uh, it's uh, plus, so it's D3 units okay. this time. Uh, so it's all three. Um, so I'm gonna do it on, uh, I'm gonna do it on, uh, let's do the same thing as last time. So the, what's it called? The War that, Chanta? that War Chanta, that War Chanta, and the Mock Russia. Okay. So first up will be the, the left mod, uh, War Chanta. He takes one. Okay. And now the Mock Russia takes the big three. Okay, he can try to stop those on sixes. That's true. Nope. Okay. So he's taken four now? Five. Five, okay. And then the, the finally the other War Chanta. Yep. Uh, takes three. Okay, and now Mystic Shield, I'm gonna put on the hero. Okay. Uh, we'll go off big time. So that, where did I put it? Uh, Mystic Shield. There you go, buddy. Um, and what was the thing that I forgot? To, oh, it was, I was roll a four up. And yeah. I might not have explained that on camera, but anyway, yeah. it didn't really matter. So I didn't end up running him. Uh, so that should be everything. Uh, so I'll come back at the end of the movement phase for some shooting action. Okay. Okay, we are back. Um, the the Dread Saurian kind of Tokyo drifted up here outside of three of those guys. And he chose not to redeploy because he kind of needs the, the CP he was mm -hmm. saying. And um, this guy moved up here. They ran over here. And I left these guys where they were. And these guys moved up here. The skink priest moved around there. And that's pretty much it. Yep. So uh, first up is going to be the um, Stegodon. He's going to shoot into the Maw Crusher. Okay, so I'll spend a CP for all out defense. Excellent. Excellent choice, sir. So he's hitting on threes. Oh, okay. Well. That's okay, I got some excellent rolling earlier. Uh, wounding on threes. Okay, so that's one wound uh, at minus one. Okay, so saving on a three. That's correct. Saves. Definitely. Okay, so now, you don't like that, you don't like that uh, terrain piece. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so first up will be um, this guy here. He's gonna shoot into the injured pigs. Okay. They're still licking their wounds and from the previous thing. All out defense as well from the wall. They out. will. So you can yeah. have up to one more target. Yeah. Have all out. All, yeah. all, all out defense. Yeah. Uh, so there, he's hitting on fours because I only have one CP left and I'm going to use it to double shoot the guy sure. who's hitting on threes for obvious reasons. And then I rolled pretty dope. Pretty, pretty good. Wounding on threes. So there we go, three at minus one. So that'd be back to fours. That's correct. So two go through for four wounds. That's it. So that'll kill this guy and put a wound on this last guy. Okay. And then I'm going to shoot into, um, I think I'm gonna shoot into these guys here. Okay. Uh, I can't wall up defense them, so. Why not? Oh, they're not in, in range? They're not in range, yeah. Oh. Oh, because he's not your general. Uh, it's, they've got to be wholly within 18 of him. Oh, okay. He's a totem, but they're outside of Oh, 18. I didn't know he was a totem. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put some wounds on them. So, this guy's going to be hitting on threes. Okay. That's another good roll. Wounding on threes. Okay, so we got five at minus one, good sir. Okay, so they'll be back to five. Okay. Uh, so they three go through. For so that'll be six wounds. So it's just basically like one guy dies per thing that goes yeah, through. Yeah, I'll do that shield saves. So I'll just roll oh, right. of them. Okay, yep. And I made one of those, so five wounds. So that'll kill one, two, and mm -hmm. put a wound on a guy. Nice. And you've got one more shield guy left? One shield guy left, yeah. Okay, so. Um, 
Okay. I think I'm going to shoot my, I'm going to spend my final CP. Yep. And I'm going to shoot my final thing into those pigs there. Okay. Yeah. So, got so I'll do my last all out defense. Perfect. So hitting on threes. Okay. It always comes around. Yeah. Yeah. So now wounding also on threes. Uh, so two at minus one. Okay. So they'll be saving on fours. So both saved. Nice. There you go. Okay. Um, well, first up will be the Dread Saurian to mm -hmm. charge. Yep. He is going to charge. It doesn't matter who he's going to charge. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to. I don't need to say. So um, he makes it in. Yep. I am going to. I'm going to put him into here. Yep. And I'm going to see if I can charge in the Stegodon sure. and make it into the other unit of pigs, I think. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Um, so that is an eight. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we'll get into the other pigs. Not quite. Do I want to go... You know what? I'm going to have a think and then uh, we'll be back with whoever's fighting first. Cool. Cool. So my apologies. Uh, I did forget to shoot these guys, but... We've already moved on, so yeah. not going to do it. So we got first up. I did, so I did not charge him in because uh, they have Violent Fury on, yeah. and even though he has Mystic Shield, I don't have a CP to do anything sure. to keep him alive. Yeah. So I'm just going to like yeah hope this other guy does something. Yeah. So the first of all, the Dread Saurian does get to do his two up uh, D3 Mortal Wounds. <laughs> nope. There you go. So uh, it'll, we'll go right into the Jaw attacks. They're so going to do all out defense coming from this sure. guy. Sure. Yep. Absolutely. Um, so it's three attacks. <laughs> well, those were supposed to be hitting on fours, so I guess it's my fault for not saying so. Uh, next up will be the, um, the, the Raking Claws. Uh, this guy never does anything. He's 500 and something points. GW do something. Six attacks, uh, hitting on twos this time. Okay, that's totally fine. I'll take that. And now, wounding on threes. <laughs> So three at minus one. Okay, so that puts me back to fours. Yes, sir. So I make two of those, one goes two. Only two damage. And then believe it or not, he only has one attack left. Hitting on fours. Nope, nothing. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not great. So it, it's your turn now. Okay, uh, I'll figure out what I got over here and then oh, sure. we'll be right back. That sounds good. Okay, so yeah, so these got the, the choppers. Uh, so I'll go with the, um, the pig iron choppers first. So um, they'll be hitting on threes. Nice. So I'll take away the misses. And then wounding on threes. That, that's a good profile. Yeah. Yeah. They should be hitting on threes. Yeah, so that is four, seven at rend one. Seven at rend one, so he's saving. Is he really saving on a five? Yep, he's saving on a five. Uh, so only saved one, so two damage each. Goodness, so four, six, so that's 12 damage. He's, whoa, hello, sorry buddy, everyone. Um, sorry, so yep. it was, he's taking 12 damage, right? So how many went through? I think it was six. I'm pretty sure it was six. He saved one and it was seven that I rolled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So he's taken 12 Yeah. and he is... 35 wounds? Oh wait, sorry, sorry. No, I, I'm, I'm coalesced. Yeah. So it's minus one damage. Oh, okay. So it's, he takes six wounds. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's taken six wounds. Okay. Oh, that's right. So my Violent Fury is kind of... It kind of, yeah, it gets negated, I guess, by coalesced. Okay. Uh, and then the uh, Tuscan I can see news. someone just starting to rage type. <laughs> I caught it, everyone, just in time. My apologies. And then uh, threes. So that is four at no rend. Four at no rend, uh, which means saving on fours. Uh, okay, so then that's three that go through. So just uh, one damage each. One damage each? Yeah. Okay, so he's taken nine wounds. Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, that's the end, right? 
Yeah, so I'll spend a CP to auto pass. So that, actually the Gore Grunters have a bravery of six. So yeah, I better spend a CP to auto pass with that last guy. Okay. And then I'll have to roll for these guys. Okay. I lost two. Yep. And I rolled a six, so I'll lose two more. Sounds good. I, well, I, <laughs> I wasn't actually listening to what you were saying. That sounded That's, not very nice. No. I was, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about, I'm actually literally thinking about what I'm gonna do in terms of uh, for CP next turn. I have yep. to dig myself out of this CP grave that I've yeah, put Yeah, I'm out of CP too, so. Are yeah. you? Yeah. Cool. Well, that's something. <laughs> so that two was on. That was on. It doesn't matter. You can pick who it was on. It was on these guys here. Right. No, because you failed that roll, so I'm just trying to. No, no, no. I got you with the, the raking claws. Was, oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So I didn't Good. even kill yeah. one guy. Yeah. Okay. Sad as it was. And so you score seven again? I score seven again. That's okay. correct. All right. So, yeah, we'll be back with Iron Jaws turn two. Okay. Okay, so we're going into turn two for the Iron Jaws, and uh, my battle tactic is going to be conquer. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try and conquer this objective. Cool. And uh, I'm going to try to roll for a CP on the, uh, the War Chanter here. Okay. And he gets it on a six. Nice. And I am going to try and roll for one on this hero over here. And he does not get it. Uh, so at the start of the hero phase, I'm going to spend this CP to try to rally uh, these iron draws. Yes. And so there's nine of them. I've lost six, so I get to roll six dice, and they actually come back on fours. They do. So I will get uh, four of them come back. Okay. And try and use the red dice, because I oh, think the white dice. Yes. No, no, it's okay. It's for the people at home. So one, two. Let's just move them out as far as I can. One, two, three, four. Cool. Okay, so that that's them. There you go. Great. And Mighty then destroyers? My uh I will mighty destroyers in a moment. Okay. Um I'm gonna do fix it beat from him okay. on the more crusher. Yep. So it goes up on a three, it does, so he gets back D3 wounds for one wound. Nice. And then spells. Right. Hmm. I feel like I should probably do a uh, Mystic Shield. It has to be Holy Within 12. So I can't do them and I can do them if I need to. Yeah, so maybe I'll do Mystic Shield on these odd boys. Sounds good. And that's an 11. Whoa, well, I might as well try. Uh, I am still plus two to unbind. Nope, big nope. All right, and then I'll spend that last CP to Mighty Destroyers, these guys, and so okay. they're gonna attempt a charge. Sounds good. They get plus one from their banners. Okay, so it's pretty much an auto charge. Oh, actually, uh, I'm gonna do my Violent Furies as well. So I'll do a Violent Fury on them. Oh, right. Okay, so you're plus one. Yeah. So I think you need a four. And I'll do Violent Fury on. I'll do it again on this unit here. Doesn't really matter, but. Okay. Cool. All right. So, yeah, I'm plus one to charge. Plus one to charge. So, that is a nine. There you plus go. One, so it's ten. Definitely so get it. I'll move them in, and then after that, I'll do movement. Excellent. We'll be back after the movement phase. Okay. Okay, so end of turn um, two movement. So I just kind of shifted things around, try, try to protect my objective. Mm. Um, I charged in here. Oh, that was in my hero phase. Um, yes. And, so I couldn't. I couldn't shoot with yeah. my Bastilladon. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and then w I was going to all-out defense with these skinks here, yeah. but then I realized there's no point because there's no rend and they already have plus one to their save. Yeah. So, yeah. I'll do my attack. So, yeah. Sorry, with the odd boys, I'm hitting on fours. Okay. So let's get some good rolling, Andy. So I'll take away the misses. You say fours? Fours, yeah. That's it. Nice. 
And then winning on threes. Okay. So that there we is go. It's gonna be uh, six, seven, eight, nine saves at no rent. Okay, nine at no rent. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I'm saving on fives here. And so I saved four. So then I'll lose five. Yeah. Right? Okay. So where's my leader? Oh, he's in the front here. Okay, I'll just leave those five. <laughs> and you purposefully kept my Bastilodons out of combat, which yep. is really smart. Yeah. Um, okay. And then you get to swing back. Oh yeah, I guess I do. Uh, <laughs> um, I wasn't prepared for that. I thought they were going to die. Uh, so they get one attack with their Celestite Dagger hitting on fives. So I'll just, and does, does the leader get something here? I bet he does. Add one to the attacks characteristic. Oh, of weapons if they have 15 or more models. And the alpha gets one to the attack characteristic. So six hitting on fives. Look out, Andy. Yeah, I was being sarcastic, but they're, as usual, skinks are stepping up for me. And I believe it's wounding on fives as well. So I got one. Okay, so saving on a four. Oh, rolled the wrong one dice, but, and then I get oh, a six up option. That was a one for anyone trying yeah. to play, play at home at home. I'll go with six. Oh, wow, yeah. good job. Okay. Uh, so do you have battle shock? Uh, I'm gonna spend a CP. Okay, so I don't think I'll take the objective then because I've got five, 10, 12, 13 guys. And I've got uh, yeah. five each for these guys and five from them is 15. Okay, so I'll just score one point for the round. Oh, right, okay. Uh, okay, so one point for you and then... Rolling. Oh, right, roll off. Yeah. Here we go. A five. So then the you tie can... goes to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to have a serious think because whoever doesn't take the turn burns it. Yeah. And that's kind of a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I'm leaning towards giving it to you because um, I don't. I want that to stay there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, but I'm gonna have a think, and we'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. So top of turn three, I am taking it. Um, Andy burned this objective, and I just want to say I've already forgotten a couple of things, and I apologize. I forgot that this guy was supposed to get an extra attack with yeah. his jaws. And I also forgot to roll for the two CP. I'm sure people will watch it and comment before they get to this part. So my apologies in advance. Um, so before I forget, so my battle tactic this round is going to be killed, is going to be broken ranks. Uh, this guy only has four wounds left, so I'm hoping and thinking I can pick him off. Um, first up is going to be, oh, then first of all, at the start of the hero phase, I roll uh, two dice and from the slant and on it, four up, he gets an extra CP. So I get one extra CP. And then I'm, I think I'm actually gonna roll another one from this guy here. So uh, four up, nope, he does not get it. So then now um, I'm gonna do this again before I forget, because I think I forgot last time. And again, I apologize. Uh, I'm gonna pick this unit. Nope, I'm gonna pick, no, first I'm gonna do, I don't have to do that at the start. So I'm gonna yeah. do that later. So first up it's gonna be Stellar Tempest on these guys. I'm gonna see if I can get this off. We'll see, uh, I do get it off with a, an 11, because it's plus two. Would you like to dispel? Uh, no. Okay, so I'm gonna roll one dice for each. You, so you had 13 left in there? Yep. Five, five, and three. So each five up is a mortal wound. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of mortal wounds. So it's seven mortal wounds on these guys. So you um, have to roll these one at a time for your shield, right? Yeah, so, um, okay, so I've got a shield guy here. Oh, okay. I'll roll two dice. You can roll two dice then, yeah. Yeah. So he's dead. Okay. And, and then you've got then one more shield guy left, right? One more shield guy, so he's dead. Okay. And then I'll put the two wounds on the other guy, so he's dead. And, and then I'll one just wound put left. a wound on this banner guy <clears> here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then it's going to be uh, Comet's Call. Uh, yeah, Comet's Call. Oh, we didn't do heroic actions. Uh, yes, I did. I rolled for this guy. Did you not do a heroic action? No, I didn't. Okay, well, we'll come back on that if that's yeah. okay. Yeah. I just rolled an eight. Would you like to dispel? 
Uh, yes. I okay. Will. I'll try to stop. This guy's been okay. successful all game long yeah. with stopping at least one spell. So is it an eight I gotta be? It's an eight. I got a, I got a, I rolled a six. Okay, and we roll that. Yep. Uh, nine. Dang it! <laughs> uh, yeah. What time? Just so one. heroic action, I was yes. gonna try and heal this guy. Yep, perfect. Uh, so he fails. And then okay. I was actually gonna spend a CP to uh, rally that unit. Oh, okay, yeah. So I'll spend that CP, so five of them are dead. Sounds good. So I'm hoping for sixes. Yes. And I got one six. Nice. Hey, so that just made my job a lot more difficult. Bring back one pig. Okay. Excellent. Uh, and then I think I will do a mystic shield on um, this guy. Sure. Sure. Let's do that. Mystic shield uh, goes off with a 12. Yeah. Uh, so that comes over. Yeah, because it has to be wholly within 12 now or something, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so then I'm going to uh, use one CP to add plus one to hit on this guy here. And so he's got that again. And now uh, I'm going to roll to see if I can uh, run and still shoot on that guy. Yeah. Uh, I get it. So he can run and still shoot. And man, I feel like there's probably something else. Oh yes, I'm going to, um, I'm going to zap from this, this terrain piece here. Okay. So uh, it'll go off on a two up because there's only one unit within three. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm going to do these guys. No, these guys. <laughs> it goes off with a four and they take three. Okay, I'll try. Or to do they? Soak some of those, so no, so that'll kill one and put a wound on a guy. Okay, wound on a guy it is. And my word, what am I? That's weird. Okay. Uh, that, that. Oh, I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's everything. So, yeah, I, I believe that's my hero phase. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm missing something. We'll be back at the end of the movement phase. Okay, so we're into the shooting phase. These guys move back over here to kind of guard my objective. These guys retreated out of combat because they didn't want to die. Uh, these guys shuffled over here, stayed in range of this. Um, you're probably going to get, I'm probably not going to get that objective this turn because my concentration is going to be on eliminating pigs. Um, but first, before I forget yet again, my apologies. The, the artifact that I have to take is the Fusil of Conflagration, and I didn't have enough, because of this dummy, I didn't have enough mm -hmm. points to take more characters and get a Warlord Battalion. So um, I've forgotten every turn to shoot it, but I will remember this turn. So uh, it is uh, basically on a one, I just don't get to use it anymore. Two through three, nothing happens. Four through five does D3 Mortal Wounds, and on a six, it does D6 Mortal Wounds. Uh, I'm going to shoot it into these guys here. Okay, so here we go. Five, D3 mortal wounds uh, for three. Hey, what do you know? Hey, I'll try to take the first one on a shield. He's making up for lost time. No, and then, so that'll kill this guy and then kill another guy. Okay, sounds good. And then, um, then first up will be uh, this, this, um, this bad boy here. He has nine shots. Um, and he is uh, hitting on threes, uh, shooting into the okay. The unit I'll of pigs. Full of defense kill. from the more crusher. Sounds good. Cool. I'm just gonna pull that out. So hitting on threes. Nice. Okay. And now we're wounding also on threes. Uh, so that is four at minus one. Okay. So I'm back to fours. Yes, sir. So, uh, four wounds, so that'll kill um, this guy. Okay. And that one guy is there still. Yes, sir. And then I'm going to use uh, this, oh no, wait, actually, no, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna shoot normally into uh, that pig there. Yep. And uh, I'm gonna just try and hit him on, on fours. Okay. 
Because I need to, like, as I was saying to Andy, I need to save a command point so that the Dreadsaurian doesn't do nothing. <laughs> so here we go. Um, whoa. Oh, maybe not quite as good as I thought. Still pretty happy with it, to be honest, just because it's fours and you just never know which way things are going to go with them. Um, but then you can, <laughs> the same thing can be said when you're trying to do things on threes. So two at minus one. So one goes through, so he takes two damage. Okay. Um, and now I'm going to shoot uh, this guy here also into him. What's his range? Uh, it's 24 inches. Okay, so, sure. Yeah. Uh, so he's hitting on threes and wounding also on threes. And it's one extra attack once again for said reasons before. So that's three at minus one. Okay. Uh, one goes through. It's three damage. That killed him. Excellent. Okay. So now... The gamble's kind of paid off here a little bit. Um, I'm going to shoot, uh, I'm going to use a CP and shoot again with this guy into them. Okay. So it'll be nine shots. Or do I want to hit some pigs? No, I think I'm, because I'm killing, wait, or do you still have the, you have the shield guy over here, hey? Uh, right. there's, any, there's a couple of shield, there's two shield guys in there. Right. Maybe I'll... Did I kill any guys in here earlier? Oh, I did because yeah, of, yeah, that's yeah. right. So I'm gonna actually shoot into the pigs. Okay. Come here, pig. So they'll get mystic, they'll get uh, all out defense as well from the thing. Right, Yeah. right. So it's minus, uh, no, no minuses. So it's hitting on threes because of the ability from my star priest there. And wounding also on threes. There we go. So it is six at minus one. <clears throat> so one, two, two go through. Okay. So four wounds. Four wounds. I'll take it. And that is it for my shooting phase. I think I'm, I can just go into um, some charges. Yep. So the first up will be the Dread Saurian. Yep. So he's charging in. And he'll make it with a seven. Rar. Whoops. Ah, I just smashed my models. I don't like that. And now I'm going to send in this guy again because he hasn't done anything all game. Uh, so that's an eight. So that'll definitely take him in. And crash and roar, etc., etc. So I think that he gets a. I think he gets some kind of mortal wound thing on the charge as well. He should, he's a triceratops. So, oops, nope, gotta go a little bit further. Sorry everyone, I don't have the, the cards because I didn't buy them when they came out. Like an idiot. Uh, three up, it takes D3 mortal wounds. So uh, the pigs are on a two up. So on two up on the pigs, four, three. Okay, so I'll kill him. Okay. And then uh, on a three up for the Triceratops. Nope. So next, so first up will be the, I'm actually gonna go with the Stegodon first. Sure. So I'm gonna get my dice ready because I don't remember his scroll very well. Yeah. Okay, so the, I've figured it out. It takes a minute because there's so many different attacks to it. Yeah. Um, I am going to use, oh, add one to the attacks because we're melee weapons. No, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do all out attack from him yeah. instead. So uh, he's got three attacks from his meteoric war spear. And, oh, I forgot to do monstrous actions with this guy. The, he doesn't get it because they're uh, hunters, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna roar. Okay. So three up and yep. he gets it. Okay. okay. So three attacks hitting on twos. And those all hit, wounding on threes. Uh, so that's three at minus one. Okay, so on fives, uh, one goes through. Nice. And How many damage? Just one. Okay. And now, oops, sorry. Uh, put it on this guy back here. Cool. So massive horns hitting on uh, twos. And he has one extra for, uh, for the command. Um, trait. Yeah. And now wounding on threes. Uh, so that's two at minus one. Okay. So on fives, one goes through. Uh, it's five damage. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so that'll be one, uh, two, three, and then I'll roll some shields. Okay. Long save, so that'll be one wound on this guy here. Okay. So you've, you've got one shield guy left? Yeah. Okay, cool. So four attacks with the grinding jaws because of coalesced. Yep. So hitting on twos. Uh, so that's four attacks that hit on twos and now wounding also on threes. Uh, so that's only two for them and it's minus one. Okay, so five. One goes through. That's pretty good rolling. Uh, two damage. Okay, so two shield saves. I'll do, actually I'll do one. Okay. Uh, well, these are the last shield guys, so I'll do two. So I just saved him. Makes one takes so it, so he still dies, but that's I'm oh, okay. the only guy that dies. Okay. And then I have no more shields. Okay. And then crushing stomps, uh, six attacks from them because of uh, the mount trait. Yeah. Uh, or not mount trait. Oh, I forgot to do that. I forgot about his. Dang it. Oh, one second. Okay, that's going to annoy the vejeevers out of everyone, but. I want to make him, it was savage. Uh, oh. So I'll just add one for the final one. Yeah. Dag nabbit. So hitting on twos um, and wounding on threes. Sorry, everyone. This army is a lot. Uh, of course, <laughs> got one there at the end, but hey, minus one. Goes through. Two damage. So I'll just take this guy off. It's not like totally too late to just go through that again, but that's just too much. So it's back to you, my friend. Okay, so I'll just do my gold grunters. Sounds good. Um, so that'll be uh, hitting on threes. Okay. And then wounding on threes. Uh, so that'll be five at rend one. Five at rend one. So he is saving on fives. And so I just saved one. So that's four total damage, I believe. Right? Yep. Okay. 13 damage taken. And then threes and threes again. Nice. Oh, there's another two now. My mistake. And so that'll be four at no rend. So saving on fours. Uh, so one goes through. So 14 wounds taken. Is it back to me now? Yep. Okie dokie. Uh, I need to find that. <laughs> there it is. Uh, so I'm going to do it properly this time. He gets four attacks with his gargantuan jaws okay. because he is coalesced. So hitting on fours. Uh, okay. I mean, that's average and I will certainly take that. Wounding on threes. And so just one at minus two. Okay, and they, they can also de yeah, pull out defense. So. They can. Yeah. So one at minus two, so back to a five. Nope, goes through. It's six damage. Okay, so that'll kill him. Okay, and then we got two, four, six attacks hitting on two still because he hasn't, he hasn't suffered that many wounds. Wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of twos. Uh, good thing he was hitting on twos. Wounding on threes. So that is three at minus one. Okay, so fives, all go through. So that's two damage each, so that's six total damage. Dead. Okay, and that's, uh, then now we go back to these guys over here. Yeah, so they'll just pile in. Yes, sir. And um, one, two, three, one, two, three. And here, just give me two seconds here. Stegadon, uh, Armored Crest. Uh, up. To, how many models did he have at the start of the combat phase? Like a lot, right? More than five, right? How many did I have? Yeah, how many? How many? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I think it's fine. So okay. yeah, we'll just we'll just rock it out. Okay. So these will be hitting on fours. Cool. And wounding on threes. Uh, five at no rem. Five at no rem. So I believe he is saving on a four. Yeah. So three go through. Okay. Uh, so that's one damage each, I yeah. assume. And so he takes three damage until I can find my magnetic thing. Yeah. That'll be the end, right? Yeah. 
Uh, I'll spend a CP to order pass Battleshock for them. Cool. And, and then I have to every... roll for those oh, guys. Oh, right. Uh, I lost uh, seven. Okay. So I, seven. I think they're minus one from the Dread Soaring so as well. run. Okay. And then they're all dead. So, Woof. yeah. Okay. So scoring wise, you're going to score your one. One. And your battle tactic for three? For three. Plus one for doing the monster? That's right. So it's four. Four. Okay. Okay. And cool. then be my turn. That's true. Okay, so I'm going to go into Iron Jewel's turn three now. My battle tactic is going to be bring it down on the Dread Saurian. Sounds good. Um, so for my heroic action, I'm going to try to heal the uh, Mole Crusher. Cool. So uh, nine is a fail. Okay. I'm going to try and roll for an extra CP on the uh, Skink Chief. And I get it. And then I'll try to do um, Fix and Beat. Okay. Actually, sorry, which guy? <coughs> the Fix and Beat guy is here. Okay. So Oops, I'll sorry. try that. And that goes off. So I get D3 back on the More Crusher for three. Nice. So he's taken one now. Um, and then. Just gotta check which one this guy is again. He's the get him beat. Okay. So um, I will do Violent Fury because you're gonna do minus one damage, so then at least it cancels out some some of the effects of the minus one damage. Cool. Uh, from him, there's no point in doing it with the other guy. So then it spells. So I'm gonna do try to do Basham Lads with this guy. Yep. So it goes off on an eight. That's a seven. I can reroll it. Okay. And that is a six fails. Okay. So we'll go into movement. We'll be, yeah, back at the end of the movement phase. Yeah. Okay, so um, I did all my movement and then Rob spent a CP to redeploy. So he, he rolled a six and moved yeah. back the Dread Sword. Very, back. very lucky, yeah. Yeah. My thought was just to try and get you to have to at least use a CP to reroll and just yeah. use up some of that precious... Those precious resources. Yep. Yeah. So I'm just going to take some sh uh, shots from the Maw Crusher into this guy here. Yep. So hits on twos. So that's one miss. And wounds on threes. So two at rend one. Rend one on the on that guy. Yep. So he is uh, saving on rend one's fives. Uh, so saves one. Takes one. Just it's one damage. One damage? Oh, okay. Yep. So he yep. takes, he's taken four damage now. Okay, so now the big charge rolls. Yes, very good. So big. with the Mole Crusher. Yep. Uh, that's a seven. seven. I gotta spend a CP to reroll. And that's an eight. An eight. So I guess I'll just have to go into the other guy. Actually, he can connect with the other oh, guy. Oh, there you go, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. So did I even have to spend a CP? Yeah, I still had to spend that CP. So eight gets him to here. Yep. And then I'll charge. I'm not the, going to, I'm not gonna, what do you call it? Pull out. I'm not gonna unleash hell. Unleash hell. Right. Yeah. So then I'll charge with the pigs. Cool. <laughs> Good Lord. So you can, don't forget you've got the war chant over there. He can get in with like a nine-ish. Uh, he can't get in. That guy can. That guy, yeah. Rob Why not? Okay. Four. No. Okay. Well, we know what's going on, so he's going to swing into, he's going to Tokyo yeah. Drift into him. Yep. Excellent. I am going to all, use my last command point to all out defense the Dread Saurian. Okay, so. Doesn't he do mortal wounds on the charge? I guess we got monstrous actions. I'll do a roar on you. Oh, okay, sure. So I'll um, take my CP. So, yeah, it's a roar. Okay, so I took my CP back. Yeah. Um, so then uh, I will I will do the same. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to Titanic duel you. Okay. I'm going to Titanic duel you. I think that's yeah. I think that's more epic. Yeah. Cool. Um, oh wait a minute. Uh, yeah. I'm going to Titanic W. <laughs> okay. So cool. Seven attack, sitting on twos, and then winning on threes. Okay. Uh, so those fail. So that's four at. Uh, actually, I'll, can I do my war? 
Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, so that'll be four at REN2. REN2, so saving on sixes. And Nothing. Two damage each. Is it two damage each or is it? That's with the, that, wait, so it's three damage it, each. It would be three damage each, but now it goes down to two. Okay, so that's eight total yeah. damage he's taken. Okay, yeah. so that he's taken 22 wounds. Yeah, and then I'll do eight attacks uh, on twos and threes again. Um, so that'll be five at rend uh, three. Three, so that's no save. Okay, so, and those are three damage each. And that's, are you already minusing? Yeah. Okay, so that was how many? Five at three damage each. So that's 15 damage. Yeah. So he is taking 37, so I think he's dead. Oh, how many wounds does he have? Oh no, he, uh, wait, so it's 22 plus 15 is 37. So yeah, he killed him. Oh, okay. Nice. Well, not nice, really. What did he do to anyone, really? Um, so that's that. Yeah. So then, um, oh, I forgot. I could have, I could have roared at you. <laughs> I had two monstrous actions. Yeah. Um, so you already, what did you do? Did you all out attack? Uh, he gets plus one attack, plus one to hit because of the, um, the item. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then, um, okay. If you want to do roar, you can. Well, there's no point now, is there? I could do, he could still do all out defense. Oh, he still can. Okay. So I'll, I'll roar at you then. Sure. In, there we go. So he's roared at. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then I will, um, I'm going to get my dice ready and be right back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're back. The Stegodon is rolling into the Ma Crusher. Um, he is uh, hitting. So I've got, first of all, I've got three attacks mm -hmm. from the Meteoric War Spear. Mm -hmm. I've all out attacked him. Yep. So he is uh, hitting on uh, twos. And wounding on threes. <laughs> so it's one at minus one. Okay, so saving on a four. Save. Okay, and now we have the massive horns also hitting on twos. Wounding on threes. Uh, so that's two at minus one. So fours, one goes through. So they are, he's taken one thing of damage, so it's three damage right now. Okay, so sixes. Uh, nope, so three, three wounds taken, so he's taken four. Um, Wait, did you save? Did you save those? I saved one. Oh, you have the six up. Feel no pain, yeah. right? I forgot. My apologies. I didn't know what yeah. you were rolling for. Yeah. Uh, so four attacks with the jaws hitting on twos. Oops, that's a one. I almost picked it up. Wounding on threes. So that's three at minus one. Okay. So fours. Uh, two go through. Uh, four total damage. So sixes. Save one of those, he takes three more, so he's taken seven. Okay, and now the crushing stomps. It has uh, four attacks plus one from the mount trait, yep. hitting on twos, uh, so those all hit, and wounding on threes. Uh, so they all hit, or all wounded rather, uh, five at minus one. Fours, uh, so three go through. So that is six total damage. So do six, please. So five go through. Okay. So he's taken twelve damage. Goodness gracious! So you got your, um, you got your battle tactic. Yeah, for two. For two. And I got this one for two. So that's four. Yep. And I did it <clears throat> with a monster. Yep. So that's five. Five points. Okay. Yep. So, um, and do I get one for killing a monster or that's right. You do. So six points, six points. Yeah. Nice. Good to keep that in mind. Okay. Um, so roll off, I guess. Yep. Cool. I got a one. I got a three. Yeah. So I think we'll call it at this point. Um, 
writing on the wall a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can double shoot the Maw Crusher, off. Maw Crusher and yeah. I can shoot with him. And at that point, it's going to be very tough. Yeah. I mean, we don't know what would happen, but it seems likely. Yeah. Yeah. So, cool. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, it looks like this trick with the Dread Saurian has fixed the problem with the Vallejo Stillwater. So mm -hmm. hopefully that works for other people as well. Love this model. Hate the War Scroll. <laughs> Love the model. Hate the War Scroll. That's a good, um, that's a good philosophy in general for Age of Sigmar. But um, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We, we um, you know, made some stuff happen with the, um, this Realm of Battle board. Um, so I hope everyone enjoyed watching it. And yeah. Um, you know, hit all the buttons and, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much.